We just launched into a game at Mahjong time. We're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this version, look for links in the video description below so you can learn how to play. So to start, I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on dots and bams to get them on the bottom. My cracks and winds and dragons will all be on the top. We'll put the flowers up there too. And now we'll click the sort feature so that they can get all organized. Now let's look at the lay of the land here and see what we have to work with. For multiples, we have a pair of threes, pair of twos, pair of threes. Did I say pair of threes? That's a pair of flowers. Flowers, twos, threes. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five consecutive run. Down here we have a pair of eights, eight, nine. We do have a pair of wests. So let's see, I think we could try one through five and then eight. I wonder if we could maybe play, let's get rid of the three. I'm thinking maybe we could play an addition hand, eight, five, 13. So let's see if we can do that. This is one of the theories that I'm working on is playing either the same category or completely different categories as in this case. If we play addition and consecutive run, the only common tile there would be a five, but for the particular hands that we have going on here, those fives are different suits. So let's go for addition and consecutive run and see if it is easier to play div divergent categories instead of the same categories. So we're gonna get rid of winds and dragons. We'll play consecutive run one through five and addition eight, five, 13. Four bamboo. So let's not take that. We're going to get rid of the winds and we're going to keep gathering. North wind. We do have a pair of fives there. Four so bamboos. we could potentially, let's see, four bam. No, we don't, we don't want that. Oh, we got a two. Let's get rid of the west. Now we have a pung in there. North pung wind. pair, two, three. Let's see. Two bamboos. Oh, we got a five. I think we should try for one through five consecutive run. Four pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. So all we really need there is Two bamboos. a four crack, three crack. Let's get rid of the dragons. Green dragon. We can Kong the flower for the addition, and we could even use the jokers to Kong eight the five characters. and the eight. We got a three. That's one of the tiles I was hoping for. Let's get rid of the dragon. White dragon. And we can Kong the three. The four, I'm not sure about. These we could ones. maybe use one of the jokers below to help us get that Nine four. Characters. And then we would be ready on the one crack for one win. We're quite a ways away though. Let's go ahead and Kong that for the addition hand. You want to make sure that your exposures are on the right rack so that this first rack is the addition. So I want the rest of my tiles to be placed in the right rack. If your exposures or your tiles that are concealed are on the wrong rack and you say Five. claim a discard to make an exposure, it could be on the wrong rack and you might find yourself in trouble. Seven so try to have three. the hands for your exposures on the same rack. So we're ready to Seven act on the addition hand here. I really would like to have another five in dot bamboos. so we could use the joker here for the four. We're really light with our four crack. Seven dots. We have the five Seven bams we're characters. holding for joker bait to see if we can get a joker out of it. If you want to know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description below so that you can see Seven some bamboos. video demonstrations on how it works if you don't already know how, how it works. 
in essence, you hold a pair that you don't need, let's say, and later in the game you discard one, your opponent makes an exposure with a joker, and then on your next turn you make an exchange for the joker with the other tile. And it's hit or miss. Now this hand down here is ready to win, ready to win on a five dot. And I might actually Easy wait win. on it if it did come down in a, in a discard because I want to try to use this joker up here. Now, our joker bait is the five bam and they just discarded it. So those tiles are not going to be good joker bait in this case. They're not interested in a five bam. So in this case, the joker bait didn't pan out. So we'll go ahead and discard that and still keep the other tiles. Five bamboos. We were the first player. So we discarded the first one. They discarded the West, I think. Okay, we need singles there. Eight, three, we're good there. I was just trying to see if they two threw the bamboos. two dot or if we threw the two dot. I don't remember. I think Five they bamboos. threw it. So we're ready to win Five on the bamboos. second hand, the addition hand. We can Kong the three, we need to Pung the four. So we One might need dot. to use this Joker. It'd be nice if we could draw our eight dot and get our Joker Seven back. Dots. If Oh, we got a four, nice. And that hand right now Five will be pure eight. if we can make it work. We're not quite ready to win there. Four dots. Okay, four dot they didn't want. Four dots. So we are one away from ready on the consecutive run hand. No, two away. We need to Kong. Okay, we're gonna we're going to declare Mahjong there. Mahjong. Because I do not know if we're two gonna get dots. this other hand. We are ready to Kong and Pong, but the challenge here is timing. Your opponent no, could very well be working on what is called a simultaneous Seven Mahjong, bamboo. where they it, they declare two winning hands at the same time. If you don't declare a winning hand, you will not get score for that. So since I declared a Mahjong, I will get value for that particular hand. And if we do win this second hand, we'll get double value for that. And in this case, it is pure at the moment. So we could One get value. double value if it's pure, I think. I'm not sure if Sounds it's... Win. I'll have to look at that. I don't know. I'll put it in the One caption. Bamboo. Let's see. We don't need the eight crack. Six bamboo. There are two out. The six bam is a fresh tile, and we're heading into the end game. So I don't want to hold fresh tiles if I don't One have bamboo. to. We really need the one crack or pung the four crack and be ready to win on the one. Now they discarded a four crack. I know that because I didn't discard it. I needed it. I don't think I discarded it anyway. So we'll see if we can get that four crack before the one goes down. No one cracks are out yet. And for all we know, they could be holding the one. Let's get rid of the four. Four bamboos. I'm hoping. One character. Okay, they don't need a one crack. So there's one out. We there's need the other one. one. We need that for a pair, by the way. And this addition hand is only 25 points. So Nine if they win both hands, we will lose this West session game. or this game. One character. Okay, we got a joker. I will claim a winning hand even though it would be nice to have joker list but if the one, one crack character. there it is mahjong we'll take it mahjong. so we'll win this game because we won both hands whoever has the highest total score wins the game so in this case we won the first hand addition is single value the second hand <coughs> is double value let me know what you think about Siamese Mahjong. If you haven't played yet, I hope you give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It's very challenging. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks 
beekeepers.